Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mark with M2M Detail, and today we got another episode of Fold With Me. I know it's been a while, so we're gonna go over some things we've been doing, also fold our towels, and get into some topics that we've been dealing with at the shop, and some stuff I've been doing lately, and what I've been buying. So let's get into it. So first things first, we've been doing a lot of window tint, so that's pretty cool. Business has been good. Everything's been really good here at the shop due to everything being shut down again. It's not gonna be fun, but we'll get through it. Um, we did buy, me and my wife, we bought the 2020 Tundra TRD Pro. It's fucking dope. I love it. I really like the truck. Everything's really simple, really easy. I really do enjoy it. I like the way it sounds. TRD um, Tundras, they come with a catback exhaust system. They sound amazing from factory. Pretty pumped up about that. On the downside, we did have to give up the STI. So the blue STI you guys see all over the website and the YouTube channel is gone. No more STI, but it's all good. We needed a truck, so we got a truck. And we're having a baby in November, so that's gonna be fun. STI probably wasn't the best vehicle for the baby, but we would made it work. But yeah, now we got the truck. So on the truck, we already got it ceramic coated. We also did the ceramic window tint and we got 70% tint on the full windshield. So these all protected, everything looks good. We also did it on paint protection film, SunTech Ultra for the um, front end. I'll give you guys a picture of that in a minute. And uh, that's pretty much it, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's get into some other stuff. So we did ceramic coat on a Hellcat. I put a little clip in there right after this. You guys could check that out. See the little walk around after we got done with the ceramic coating. Sounded really good. Really nice car. It had 549 miles on it. So it's pretty much brand new. Had a lot of scratches. So it was black. So had a lot of scratches. Spent about seven hours correcting the paint. But overall, came out really nice, came out good. Uh, woo. Yesterday, we tinted a 99 Integra two-door. And for all you guys that tint cars, that back window, not fun. So, that took some time, but all done and said, all good. We also bought we got a new polisher coming, so stay tuned for that video. That'll be coming out shortly. It's from our Flex line, so that's not my line, but you know, the Flex lineup of polishers. We got a new one, so that'll be pretty cool. I really like it. I've been using it. Really, really dope little tool. Cordless, of course. You know me. Hate cords, but that root, so. That Roops is uh, the LK900E. Really enjoy that polisher. And let's see what else has been going on. Oh, we got this, um, my aunt in North Carolina. She cut uh, M2M detail, like a little logo for my wall. I'll show you guys a picture of that right now. Shit's hard, huh? Real dope. Yeah, I love it. It weighs like 40 pounds on us. So nice. If you guys haven't already, check out the website, check out the eBay store. We've been selling a lot of pre-cut paint protection films. So if you guys ever want to try some paint protection film for your headlights, front bumper, mirrors, wherever you guys want to try out, let us know. You can buy them on the website, you can buy them on eBay, and we'll get that shipped out next day for you guys. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And we can, you know, sell you the install kit too separately. You can buy that so you can just do everything at your own house and your garage. Really cool, really fun to do. Um, it is a little difficult, so you know, be prepared. Headlights aren't too bad, but when it comes to like front bumpers and anything like curved and a big piece of material, it, it's a little tricky. So definitely a challenge if you want to try to do a front bumper, and you know, if you want some information like, hey, Mark, like, should I attempt this? I'll be straight up with you. I'll let you know. Have you ever done it? If it's a, uh, I have like, you know, different levels on difficulty, I'll let you know the level on the install. And if it's um, like a level five, I probably wouldn't suggest you do it yourself. 
you just buy the product, you take it down to a shop local near you that installs the paint protection film. They can install it. But either way, really so really appreciate the business. Thank you guys. And uh, as you guys know, we got some shirts. Yes, we did. We we finally got our shirts in. So those, these are pretty cool. Listed on the website also. And we sell them here at the shop. What's going on this week? So today, supposedly today, we're gonna get our pallet of chemicals. So hopefully it shows up. But yeah, we got a bunch of new stuff coming to the product lineup. We're gonna have um, leather conditioner, UV protective interior spray, decontamination soap, ceramic soap. Of course, we got our pH car soap. So we're gonna have three different car soaps for you. you can pick which one you want and um wheel clearance is coming back in we got a quick detailer coming out right now we have an instant detailer which is really good it's um it's really uh it's really thick so you do get some smears and um not a big fan of that but it really it really puts a nice protective layer on your car after you're done washing so it's not too bad but the quick detailer is going to be a lot thinner less smearing and it's gonna be really nice. So make sure you guys check that out. I'll have probably all the products listed on the website, hopefully by the end of this weekend. Gotta make all our labels, get the pricing, and then get them out there for you guys to buy. To buy. And uh, pretty much it, guys. Not too much going on as of right now. We should have some hats coming in, hopefully by Friday. If not by Friday, probably early next week. So that would be cool. We'll find out about that. Damn guys, this is a lot of towels. I don't feel like folding towels. It's uh, 7, 7.20 in the morning. And I don't know if you guys read my bio on YouTube. I am committed to making a video every Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific time it will be launching. So if I fuck up, let me know. You guys gotta let me know. If I fail to do this, let me know. But I'm committed. I'll be here Thursday at four or Friday at three in the morning making a video if I don't have it up by 6 a.m. So we gotta make sure I'm held accountable for that. But yeah, this one will not be a Friday release. Fold the week means I think I'm gonna start releasing these um probably once a month on Wednesday. Cause uh Friday's gonna be for the better videos. This one's more talk, you know, less how to's product review this one's just more you know for friends and family people who want to watch and listen to me talk and fold some damn towels uh what else do we got going on so we did a couple things here at the shop uh we got a new cabinet sam's club really big the 48 inch cabinet and 24 inches deep Really big cabinet, really like it. Um, the price is really good. So that's one thing to know about. And uh, oh, another cool thing we got going on right now. So um, if you guys haven't heard of KXK Dynamics, um, they, they sell like um, little sanding blocks and stuff, but I got their pad puncher kit. So we are punching our own microfiber pads out. So we are doing like two and three fourths and smaller. Wish they have a five inch. They do not have a five inch. Um, stay tuned. That video will probably be out next Friday. That might be the next video I post out for you guys. And it's gonna be labeled on KNX or KXK um, Pad Puncher. So stay tuned to that and you can see how it works, how, how dope it is. It's pretty cool. And it'll also save you a lot of money on buying microfiber pads. That's the key. Key is to save, cut costs. That is uh, one of the main reasons why we started on the product line was um, to save costs on chemicals because we were spending way too much money on chemicals. But now that we buy them in bulk, I get to use them all day and save money and I get to sell them to you guys, help you guys out because um, it's expensive out there. So try to help you guys out and make it reasonable, you know, Everyone's happy. Oh, you guys want to hear something a little funny? So, 
It's been like 94 inside the shop. T-shirt wet, drench instead of wet. It's all bad. It's, it's miserable, like miserable, let me tell you. So, I was like, you know, I'm gonna buy a portable AC. Let's try this out. And I was like, man, I should probably get like a swamp cooler or something a lot bigger. The shop's like 1,800 square feet. And I was like, yeah, I'll just get like a little stamp portable one. You know, it's supposed to do like 400, 500 square feet, like four, $400. And I was like, this should help out the shop. It probably won't cool the shop down, you know, to 65 or 70 degrees. I was like, but it should help, right? So I had this thing running for about two hours and with 93 in the shop, the degree went to 94. So that was that, packaged it up, returned it. Um, um, I don't know what else to say about that. Just, uh, if you're looking for a portable AC, just make sure it fits your, your needs in your size shop because uh, 400 square feet in the 1800 square foot shop doesn't do anything unless you're standing right in front of it, which we're not gonna be able to stand right in front of it. So we'll probably look into the swamp coolers. I'm probably just uh, sweat this summer and the next summer we'll have AC. But it's all good, it's all good. And uh, all right guys, so we're on down to the last two towels. As always, let's go over the towels real quick. We got Sam's Club. Um, these right here, Home Depot HDX. Really good for a window tent, really thin, um, low lint. And we also have Sam's Club right here, the bigger towels. Not sure what brand these are, I think they're from the Rag Company. Really good towels, really like them. And then this looks like a Costco towel. Also from the Rag Company. These are really good towels for drying the cars. No streaking, they hold a lot of water. And we do have a bunch more towels, but this is it for now. Uh, for these on um, Sam's Club one, I only use them to remove compound. That's all they're used for. Really good. These Sam's Club are more for um, interior. No screens or anything, just um, plastic, leather, where you're cleaning. HDX is all for window tint. These I like to um, use for window tint also and wipe down the door panels, keep everything nice and clean for the customer. And Costco towels are for interior also. All right, guys, so I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the support and help and the likes and subscribes. I really do. And I hope you guys are all doing good. And I'll talk to you soon. It's Mark Lamptonita. Mark out.